St. Jerome Church in the park. This is the bust. It's by Pablo Picasso. And it was just found abandoned in a ditch outside this town. Basically, I just liked this building. That's why I videoed it. <laughs> On this part of the wall, they're showing us where part of it was carved out so that horse carriages could actually make the sharper turn. Isn't that cool? Apparently, this fun new place is the place to go. You just have to not get yeah, I got my friend's driver's license. He says you have to get the pedestrian to the city of Meter. All of the principal places which would have been originally, they got the idea to serve coffee as a hot day without a drink. So the places that were known for coffee, they this cafe, they became big social centers for a man. So like the Enlightenment philosophers in the 18th century used to come to the cafes and debate their ideas and write. Both Voltaire and Diderot came here. They have a piece of uh, Voltaire's desk here. Uh, actually. A and piece a of, of the desk? The of the French Revolution. A lot of events of the revolution were caught in the cafes. The different factions had their own favorite cafes. So one of the parties actually began in the cafes. So they really played a, a big role. And when you think about it, you can't have a revolution without a coffee. It's not an alcoholic hot drink. A drunken mob. So this is apparently one of Napoleon's many hats, and he used it to get dinner since he had no money. So he, he was the one going to do that. He was very The Fountain of St. Michael. Uh, right here, you have Boulevard. You know, that goes up to the But it's, it's, they're taking their inspiration from nature, so it's a stylization of plant form. So you have the current curving lines that resemble plants, like the lands of the touch tulips and the, the green color of the metal. And all that. So there's I found Shakespeare and Co. We found Shakespeare and Co. I probably was so led here on our tour. Here, uh, George Whitman was the great grandnephew of Walt Whitman. He opened a bookshop here in 1951. And then when the original Sylvia Beach died, he changed the name of Shakespeare and Co. But the original Shakespeare and Co. was on the original Walt Whitman apartment here that was opened by Sylvia Beach on that spot in 1951. Local water fountain, fresh water. Alex is going to get water. Yay! <laughs> the oldest tree in Perry. I don't know if you can see it while the sun is blinding. Precious little park. Students used to apparently have class out here sitting on hay bales. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Macaroons and ice cream. This is the oldest street in Paris. Of course, now it has asphalt, but that's it. What's she doing, kitty cat? Monks actually. Roman baths. So it was a mansion built. No, it's a museum. But it's also been a mansion for the Queen. Second and third centuries. It's pretty legit. There's also a kid's park. <laughs> it's a 
the big doors and go in and guard your house, but it wasn't used to, it was a fortified castle. Like that. So it was built for the abbots of Cluny. And the main Cluny monastery was in Burgundy. But, but all the religious orders own land in Paris. They have operations in Paris. They behind it. Oh, being blinded. So, it kind of looks like Don Quixote actually. The horse is gorgeous. He's got spurs. Um, not sure. I'll have to figure out who he is later and study him. And put him in my presentation upon returning home. Dr. B, I'm studying while I'm walking along the river. <laughs> Enrico the Fourth. So hopefully I can read all that later. But I'm late to choir practice, so gotta go, Enrico. That's quite the stallion. He's really cool, really. Look guys, a lock bridge. Aww. They're so cute. All these people are in love. Like, these people even got even grave. They knew they were coming. Oh, I love this one. There's keys of every kind. <laughs> Every kind. Wow. Okay, so all the little clips you've seen today have been from a tour that we went on for class walking around the Latin district. And it was really fun, really beautiful. All kinds of things we saw. Um, the museum we considered going to was closed today, but we went ahead and walked the area so we know where it was. And uh, it's the museum where the Roman baths are, so you saw some of that. I'm walking along the Seine right now. Um, headed to my first choir practice at the American Church of Paris. I haven't eaten since noon and it's like seven and I'm hungry. And I've been walking for the last three hours and so I'm tired and I'm super thirsty because I was taking a nap right before we left for like the two hour nap and that was dumb. I should have been like, eating and <laughs> drinking and I don't know, something. Anyway, I'm sure I'm gonna have a great time. This sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and if it doesn't work out, I don't have to go back. But I think it will, I think it'll be, I think it'll be cool. Anyway, hopefully I'll let y'all know about it afterward. Bye. Note to self, come back to train station. There's another horse statue and I don't have time to look at it. Okay, bye. It's a funny story, because I'm sure y'all love funny stories. Today's Tuesday, Hires on Wednesdays. I got there right on time, like literally 7.30, right on time. So proud of myself. Walk in and then there's a ladies gym class going on. And I was like, what? So I asked the front desk and they were like, no, choir starts on Wednesday. And I was like, yeah, check my email and that was correct. I just had it in my phone wrong. And in my brain wrong. So I'm super hungry and I'm super tired. So I'm just gonna find somewhere to stop, relax, and then get my way back to school. Okay, one more video. Obviously I had no idea that the camera was on zoom for some reason and it was all like right here in y'all's face and I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, totally missed out on choir, but I did get to find a cute little restaurant that I sat down at and my hair is sticking up funny. Um, and I ate by myself, but I hadn't done that yet, and it was nice, and uh, the waiter was nice, and the food was good, 
and stuff. Anyway, I got pasta and then I got chocolate mousse. Why not? Then I took a taxi back over to school, except he dropped me off on the wrong end of the street. He was like, oh yeah, 92. And I was like, no, 93. He goes, well, they're right next to each other. And I was like, well, okay. And it turns out they're not next to each other. They're like 10 minutes away from each other, which was super weird. Anyway, I was able to figure out where I was when I got out of the car and looked at a map, walked my way back over there, was super proud of myself for working my way through Paris. Anyway, it was fun. Hope y'all have a good rest of the day. Bye.